click the link in the description to download your own copy of this video's problem. Hey guys, Russ here. Welcome back to another fantastic chemistry video. And today we're going to talk about putting things in the order in priority order using Kahn Engel Prelog rules. Very, very fundamental in organic chemistry. So let's learn how to do it the right way. Now, we have a multiple bond, quaternary carbon, and a normal carbon chain. All right. No, it's not very difficult. It actually looks harder than it really is. Trust me, it's not that bad. First thing I'm going to want to do is put this in the correct format. Kahn, Engold, and Prelog have given us rules on how to look at multiple bonds, how to consider them. So we're going to do that first. Now, it's not as hard as you think. What I'm about to do is a tool that Kahn, Engold, and Prelog have given us. It is not happening in a flask, and I'm not saying this is what alkynes look like. What I am saying is, this is how Kahn, Engold, and Prelog have said, this is how you handle multiple bonds. This is how you consider them, okay, for assigning priority only. So let's just do that. Let's call this A and B and C, because we're just going to you know, label them a little bit. For A, A is the only one we have to break apart, because the other ones aren't multiple bonds. So A is R, carbon, triple bonded to carbon with a hydrogen. So we're going to break it apart like this. R, carbon, carbon, hydrogen. So let's label this. Let's call this A, B. So there's A and there's B. Now carbon, num carbon letter A is no has no hydrogens. Carbon letter A has no hydrogens, but it has one, two, three bonds to carbon. Everyone can see that. Carbon A has three bonds to B. No problem. How Kahn, Ingold, and Prelog say you should handle this is to say carbon A is bonded to carbon three times. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yes, I'm aware that carbon A is bonded to the same carbon three times, but Kahn, Ingold, and Prelog say to imagine it's this for assigning priority. Same thing with carbon B. Carbon B is bonded to one hydrogen and a carbon three times. So again, carbon, carbon. So that's how you set that up. That's how Kahn, Engold, and Prelog say to examine a multiple bond. Just like that. Just like that. It's not as hard as you think. All right. So now let's draw out B. I'm just going to draw it out because I think it makes it easier for students to see. Although it makes the drawings a little bit cluttery. Sometimes it's better to be cluttered. Okay, sorry for the clutter, but I think it's going to be helpful to us. Now let's draw this one out. Here we go. Bear with me while I draw this. All right, very good. Remember, R is chiral, okay? So what Kahn and Golden Prelog say to do when assigning priority is to start at the chiral center and jump out one atom in all directions. So you have a tetrahedral carbon, you jump out to, the, to all the atoms it's attached to. So, for example, if we had a chiral center here, and we'll put carbons here, so now we're saying you start here at your chiral center, you jump out one atom in all directions from a chiral center. It has to be chiral, first of all. So you go out there, out there, out there, out there. So we're starting at R, which is our chiral center, here, here, and here. So if we do that, if I'm here, I get carbon, carbon, and carbon. That's a tie. Everyone's carbon. That's a tie. One moment. There we go. So I have a tie. Kahn, Engel, and Prelog say, in the event of a tie, keep jumping out until you find a difference. Okay? Keep jumping out atoms. So from here, I can jump out to carbon, carbon, and carbon. So I'm just going to write that down. From A, carbon, to carbon, to carbon, if I'm here. If I'm here, I can jump out to carbon, to carbon, to carbon, right? If I'm here, carbon, carbon, carbon. So we're still tied. We'll have, to, we'll have to work with that in a minute. 
So if I'm here, I can jump out to carbon, hydrogen, hydrogen. So guess what? We found our first difference. Carbon, 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 carbon. If you want to do it mathematically, these carbons are canceling. But these hydrogens and these carbons don't cancel. So hydrogen is a lower atomic number than carbon. So this group C must be group three. It's the lowest of the it's the lowest of the three in terms of priority. Okay? Doesn't mean it's not important. Doesn't mean it's not important to the structure. It just means when assigning priority, it's a low priority group. That's all it means. Okay, so now we have to handle this tie. We have to handle this tie. So we're here. Let's jump out to the next atom. Let's just jump out to here. So we're at B. So literally we're going to just stop considering this carbon and now we're going to consider this carbon. So let's erase our star and our work here. It's because I'm running out of room. On paper you might want to just keep working below. And this, my iPad doesn't have a, the app I'm using doesn't have a great eraser for stuff you've drawn in. Just got to deal with it. All right, so now we're going to jump out to the next carbon. And now, I think we're all going to be able to quickly see the difference. From this carbon, we can jump out carbon, carbon, or hydrogen. Carbon, carbon, or hydrogen. From this carbon, we can jump out hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. So obviously, 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 the carbons versus hydrogens, carbons have the higher priority. Carbons have a lot higher priority, actually. So this must be priority group one, and this will be priority group two. Okay, and that's, that's how you have to do it. So that's, that's how you do this Cunningham prelog uh, rules for multiple bonds versus uh, branching. If you hadn't done it with this tool that Cunningham and prelog say to use, you probably wouldn't have gotten the right answer. So always use that tool when working with multiple bonds. Now, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, slap that like button, leave a comment down below, and please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. It is very helpful to YouTube creators when you do that. And please share my video and my content with other people who may be struggling with organic chemistry. We can all get through this together, I promise. Now, with that, I want to wish you all good luck and good chemistry. We'll see you soon. Email drbets at protonmail.com if you would like a copy of every problem in this series.